And it's also been a day of more twists and turns on the road to Decision 2010. And while my heart beckons me forward, my head tells me that my continued presence on the conservative line would simply lead to the election of Andrew Cuomo and the continuation of an entrenched political machine. I Rick Lazio bows out of the governor's race. The Long Island Republican has been struggling to stay competitive in the political arena since his lopsided loss to Buffalo developer Carl Palladino in the primary. News 4's George Rickard is following the latest developments tonight. George? Well, Lazio dropping out is clearly good news for Carl Palladino, but now the Conservative Party has to go through an unusual formality to officially endorse Palladino. And so I have decided to step aside to give the Conservative Party, a great party, the opportunity to name another candidate. But in order for the Conservative Party to name another candidate this far into the race, Rick Lazio would either have to die, move out of state, or be nominated to run for something else. And the last option has to happen tonight. This is the last possible day the Conservative Party can do this. So tonight, the Conservative Party will have a meeting in the Bronx to nominate Lazio to run for state Supreme Court in the Bronx. After all, Lazio is an attorney, so he's qualified. But it's heavily Democratic, so he's not expected to win there. But this strategy will free up the conservative line so the party can nominate Palladino. It's critical the party has a candidate who can get at least 50,000 votes or else the conservative party will be off of the ballot in New York until the next governor election. I'll be watching very closely to see if either candidate can prove to me and to New York that they can rise above the empty slogans and the name calling. And I, like New York, all New Yorkers, will demand that these candidates address the problems facing our great state. The mudslinging continued today with Palladino accusing Andrew Cuomo of taking a job with downstate landlord Andrew Farkas, who Cuomo had exposed for taking kickbacks. Instead of prosecuting Farkas, Andrew Cuomo gave Farkas a pass in which he paid no penalties, admitted no wrongdoing, and was allowed to continue milking federal housing programs. Now, in response, the Cuomo campaign says Cuomo did not let Farkas off the hook. Farkas's company settled with the Justice Department and that Cuomo hadn't even met Farkas until after Cuomo left HUD. Live in the newsroom, George Rickert, News 4 at 5.